tell you something. Here in Nashville, there are two teams people really love in Nashville when it comes to to the basketball tournament. Vanderbilt, because they always want to see if Vanderbilt can get in. And then there's Belmont. Belmont getting in all the time because they win their conference mm-hmm. and they lead their conference. Vince Gill is a huge Belmont fan and flies to, like, all of their tournament games. Is probably, like, a lot of country stars love Belmont basketball. They're good friends with a coach. Program is it's it's easily accessible. Tickets are cheap. A lot of people love Belmont, but they never do anything. So those are the those are two teams where I am. I, I love Little Rock. I, I they play really good defense and they've got some good marquee wins on their schedule. I just never. My problem is is that I like these teams, these mid major teams, but I can't predict anything. Because when you think like, oh, I love UAB, and UAB won a game last year in the tournament. I, I don't. I, I think they beat Iowa State. Yes, in the yeah, tournament last year. Remember UAB? Yep. I like UAB. They're, Robert Brown is a fantastic player. UAB is a good basketball team. The problem is, is that no matter how much I fall in love with these these schools because they play good defense or they're well coached or they're senior laden. As easily as I can see them beating um, a Purdue or a you know or a Texas or a U in, a, in the first round, they could easily lose by twenty five, and that's been my that's that's they're just hard to predict, because a lot of these teams like uh, you know with like a New Mexico State or an Akron or something like that, the teams are good that have got some got, you know got some good records and got some good things going for them is that the, the stage is rather large. I always just look at the higher-ranked team, and if I think they're a team that could lose a game, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I never look at the, the lower-seeded team and be like, yeah, that's this team this year that's going to make a little run to the Sweet 16 or something. I just look at the teams that they're playing and kind of go off that. Yeah, and I, I have a tendency to – my brackets never get all that crazy. You know, I, I try to find the, the 112 over a 5 because right. that, that, there's always that – I, I, 99% of the time I get that wrong. You know, I always pick the wrong the wrong 12. But other than that, I never get too squirrely with my bracket because I just don't trust some of the smaller schools. All right, we'll talk some NFL Combine next hour.